Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil not only the latest in redesign and restyling of America's best-selling Class A gas coach, the Winnebago Adventure, but a new version in an oversized bath-in-one king bed version of the steadfast bath-in-one half Adventurer 35F. If you don't need a half bath, but would prefer even more interior exterior storage, and an even larger bathroom in a more nimble length, the all new Winnebago Adventurer 34W is for you and it's available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory based right here in Forest City, Iowa and named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consistently since 2015. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford Motor Company investment in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they recommend to drive moderately during the first 300 miles and no towing during the first 1,000 miles, varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in the 7.3 liter V8, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in that powertrain, sleep that first night in your wind sleep king bed, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh benchmark high-low table dinette available here at Litson RV. Now with the latest in restyling and redesign America's best-selling Class A gas coach, the Winnebago Adventurer 34W is packed with user-friendly features and more value than ever before and now in a nimble length that features an oversized master bath with incredible bedroom and pantry storage. The Adventure 34W is a revision to the best-selling 35F bath and one-half floor plan and in lieu of the bath and one-half offers plenty of living space and ample storage whether you're planning a weekend getaway or the adventure of a lifetime. The gas-powered Adventurer is loaded with features and amenities typically reserved for high-end diesel pushers including full-body premium automotive paint with chrome mirrors and trim Corian countertops, Ultra Fabrics Primera Series leather furnishings, a Versa swivel driver seat, powered passenger and driver seats, MCD solar and blackout roller shades, an oversized 23 cubic foot residential refrigerator and freezer, and a standard exterior entertainment center with much more. If you prefer a gas coach but want diesel level amenities, the Winnebago Adventurer is the coach for you. The Winnebago Adventure 35F is a bath and one half floor plan. This is a more nimble version with an oversized master bath that we'll cover as we get inside the RV. You'll see to the outside, we've ordered this coach factory fresh in the silver mist, full body premium automotive paint package. It does then include the invisible front acrylic mask. Up front here, you'll see high end features with chrome mirrored heads, all new chrome trim, a machined aluminum front grille, and the largest panoramic one-piece windshield in the industry, mounted in Winnebago's legendary steel superstructure manufacturing process, in which the entire superstructure cab design surrounds the cab area with a sturdy steel framework. This windshield is then installed with an automotive style installation with urethane, for added durability, strength, and safety compared to competing manufacturers in which they still provide a wooden firewall and very simply mount that windshield with a gasket. All of Winnebago's seats and safety belts are bolted to the steel frame. Appliances and cabinets are mounted to steel and a steel firewall protects the passenger and driver area from the engine area. Interlocking joints throughout the construction evenly distribute the weight of the roof along the entire span of the walls so even an empty shell is and can be constructed by Winnebago Industries as it doesn't rely on interior floor plan reinforcements. A beautiful, easy to care for, silver mist, full body premium automotive paint is easier to cool because it's lighter, it's also easier to maintain. 
You'll see the deeper, darker tint in the dual pane thermal insulated contour frameless windows. And what's unique about these windows is they are contoured and frameless like competing manufacturers, but Winnebago's actually have a mini channel seal so that during high speeds of travel, you don't have that wind whip that you face with other manufacturers. As we work towards the driver front here, you'll see the chrome mirrored heads with the top two thirds being powered and heated, the lower one third, including that parabolic wide angle technology. Down below then is the side video camera monitoring system, which is tied into the color rear view camera monitoring system through the front infotainment package. It's automatically actuated with the turn signal column, or you can use dedicated input for a total of three security cameras. Down below then you have 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels with this coach being on the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating package from Ford. So this includes nearly 2,800 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. This particular version having 2,776 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. The strong steel foundation down below with the computerized automatic hydraulic leveling system You'll also see all of the steel used by Winnebago Industries is either galvanized or this with the latest in e-coat technology. After undergoing a multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade, Winnebago has led the industry in a volunteer effort to lead in rust protection with the e-coating process used by leading automotive manufacturers such as General Motors, Honda, and Acura. During that e-coating process, critical steel structural components are charged and processed through a multi-stage full immersion electro coating system. Every part then is submerged in each tank and provides an even plating across any bare metal. Here you'll see the pump for the computerized automatic hydraulic leveling system. Each of these side entry doors for the compartments open up and stay open with the gas strut. A tremendous amount of basement and exterior storage with 122 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage, many of which have this pass-through component. Off to the right there, you'll see the disconnect switch for the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and converter all in one. We'll cover the inversion of being able to allow you to run household appliances off of the four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries as we go through the RV, the converter side then being charged off of the shoreline power or one running the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator. This is the battery bank for the Ford Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. These are recharged anytime that you're in transit with the tie into the alternator that Winnebago Industries makes. Anytime that you are plugged in with the shoreline service or running the gen set, and then finally, with the standard solar panel that we'll cover as we jump up atop the roof, which is expandable based on your use. So if you do a lot of off the grid RVing, dry camping, boondocking, you can expand that solar capability. Again, great storage, 122 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage, great cargo carrying capacity with nearly 2,800 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. To the rear duals, you'll see 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels. And then in the compartment right behind the duals, you'll find the black and gray tank discharge. You can actually drain the 48 gallon black tank and then use a non-potable water hose with this, the black waste tank flush to irrigate out that black tank and then cleanse your sewer hose with the balance of the 57 gallons of gray tank capacity. You'll see the largest three and a half inch PVC used in the industry for a more rapid and sanitary drainage. The coach then maintains 85 gallons of total freshwater capacity. Each of these compartments then that you see here are in the same type of manufacturing process as the seamless one piece rotocast holding tanks and freshwater tanks that we'll cover as we work through and show a detailed shot on the patio side. This is your fuel fill for the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Just behind here inside your wet bay, all of your freshwater potable locations in one easy to access location. We'll cover each of the main areas as we work our way from left to right. In the upper left hand corner, you'll find coaxial inputs for resort cable or two different types of portable satellite, one for the front and one for the rear. As we jump up atop the one piece fiberglass roof, we'll also showcase that the coach is pre-wired for any of the three types of satellite technology. 
Just underneath this location is the whole house water sediment filtration system. You have a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch which can be used with the exterior wash station. Then down below here, you have the city water inlet. So when you're connected at a resort or a campground, you can use the water pressure off of that resort or campground. When you're ready to disembark and head out, you can actually just throw this innovative freshwater diverter valve to divert the water from your freshwater system into the 85 gallons of total freshwater tank capacity. Therefore, you don't have to use the gravity potable water fill. Tucked back up in the corner, then you'll see an easy step-by-step -step process for winterizing the coach if you need to. And then off to the right, the 12-volt on-demand water pump. Of course, throughout the RV, PEX residential quality tubing is used in all water supply system with quick disconnect and compression connectors at key location in conjunction with the water manifold system to increase PSI or water pressure and reduce connections to reduce the possibility of leaks up to 75%. Here you'll see a quick port input for maximizing at the portable ground level solar capabilities, the hot and cold to the exterior wash station, and then this, the automatic transfer switch. The coach features 50 amps of shoreline electrical service, which is sized to power all of the electrical components inside the coach simultaneously without throwing a breaker. This will automatically divert the power from the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that then also includes the Cummins Onan automatic generator start system so that in the event that you're away from the coach and the resort or campground loses power, it will keep the inside cool, which is a great safety precaution for less knowledgeable occupants or pets. As we zoom back out, you'll see the gravity water fill and then also the exhausting for the washer and dryer that we'll cover as we get inside. One of the restyling advantages to the Adventurer is the tapered fascia down at the bottom of the compartments throughout both the driver's side and the passenger side. The advantage is that it doesn't make it look so boxy. It provides more of an automotive feel towards the bottom of the compartments. A beautiful silver mist premium full body base coat, clear coat finish, easier to cool, easier to maintain. And of course it's built with Asdell composite fiberglass panels, which are half the weight compared to competing manufacturers that still use wood Luon. Composite panels will not mold or mildew when used as specifications. They're not affected by freezing and warming cycles since they are composite. They are not built with formaldehyde, toxic chemicals or materials and provide double the insulation value and a better sound barrier. No deforestation occurs in its production and provides a longer RV life expectancy. Just above here in the one piece fiberglass end cap, you'll see the high mount brake lamp with the rear view color camera monitoring system. An emergency exit window to the master bedroom suite is a dual pane thermal insulated window and the sturdy ladder provides you access to the one piece fiberglass roof. We'll cover that in detail here in a moment. Down below, you'll find a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package with the seven blade bargeman wiring harness. Again, it's e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology after that multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade, which is a voluntary investment. It's not required based on RV industry code. You'll also see the exhausting to the rear for the low profile ducted furnace. And now, unlike any dealership in North America, we're gonna elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop Winnebago's one-piece laminate block foam fiberglass roof, which is tapered and convex over the cove running water off of the roof and into the water gutter, which will run from the front to the rear. The advantage to a one-piece fiberglass roof is its longevity because it is lam laminated block foam, so it provides much better insulation but also the sturdy foundation that you can actually walk with care atop the roof. Compared to competing manufacturers that may still use wooden trusses with bat stuffing style insulation that's thrown in that then over time will simply sag, a one piece laminate block foam fiberglass roof has been a steadfast quality advantage from Winnebago Industries for over 60 years. Working our way from the rear to the front, you'll see each of the dual high efficiency True Air Maximum Comfort High Efficiency Ducted Air Conditioning System Units, 13.5 individually and 27,000 BTUs in total, providing also the AC heat kit, which we'll cover as we get inside the function of an AC heat kit. 
You'll see the skylight for the oversized 34 by 34 inch shower for the master oversized bath in one. Forward of that, then you'll see the powered ventilator fan for that same bath in one. Forward of that, you'll see the max air vent system for the main living area and kitchen or galley area. Forward of that is the solar that is standard for the coach. Again, that is expandable, both rooftop and portable. The second front air conditioning system. And then forward of that is the WineGuard Air 360 Plus with the internet gateway. Other competing manufacturers do use the WineGuard Air 360 Plus, but Winnebago includes the internet gateway, providing a dedicated full-time internet network via Wi-Fi boosting or cellular connectivity off of your existing carrier, providing a 24-7 dedicated full-time internet network. This is used for streaming, for data access, for surfing the internet, but also to tie into the Winnebago Connected Coach that we'll cover as we get inside to be able to monitor and connect your coach from anywhere in the world. That should be coming shortly. Right now it's based on the local network. Forward of the WineGuard Air 360 Plus with the internet gateway is the antenna for the Sirius XM satellite radio, which is a factory installed upgrade or option that then ties into the front infotainment package. And now as we work our way down below, we'll cover the balance of 122 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage and show you all of the quality components on the patio side. Towards the rear and underneath, you'll see the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Again, each of these compartment doors are not only fully insulated, but they're tapered down below. That gas strut keeps them open and they work east to west as opposed to a head knocker working up and down. You can see the larger, tighter bulb seal gaskets will keep all of the compartments nice and dry. Each of these compartment doors, as well as the interior cabinet doors, then feature a Winnebago quality advantage of each being serialized with your serial number of the coach and then also that particular part Heaven forbid if you have any body damage or need an interior cabinet door, we can have one stained or painted and sent out to you. Inside this compartment, you'll see the felt lining so that things aren't gonna jump around in transit. Then forward of the rear dual wheels, you'll see another compartment in a great location to showcase Winnebago's seamless one-piece rotocast tanks, which are manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries for holding and freshwater tanks and then also compartment liners. Starting with a polyethylene powder and placed in an enclosed mold, the material is then heated to a liquid while rotating. And as that liquid cools, it coats the inner tool and forms the shape. It then undergoes pressure testing to ensure it passes quality standards in a seamless one-piece rotocast tank. Here you'll see the ultrasonic true level holding tank monitoring systems. Rather than drilling into these seamless one piece rotocast tanks like competing RV manufacturers, who still continue to use probes that can corrode or leak over time, the investment in the sonar sensors ensures that you receive a precise reading, but also so that it does not then leak or corrode over time. Using computer-aided design, Winnebago can then maximize holding tank capacity and ensure no risk of leakage. Forward of this, then you'll also see the 18-gallon LP tank that does include a gas grill quick connect. Above this location is access to the backside of the residential refrigerator and freezer. This is an oversized 23 cubic foot residential refrigerator and freezer with ice maker and water dispenser. That will help you winterize it by having access to the backside. Down below here, the 18 gallon LP capacity also includes the gas grill connect so that you can cook outdoors right by your patio area using a gas grill or a Blackstone griddle. You can also connect an outdoor heater for that location, but a convenient quick connect being provided right at the tank level. Above this location then is also the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. And forward of that then is the 32 inch high definition 
television that is on our an articulating mount so that you can manipulate that to alleviate any solar glare coming off from the sun. Down below you have dual speakers with an AM FM stereo and DVD player, but also Bluetooth connectivity and a 12 volt USB charge point. You can then listen to and stream your Sirius XM satellite radio app, Spotify, Pandora, Radio App One, right from this location through the dual speakers. You can do that with USB or through Bluetooth connectivity. This is the other side of the pass-through storage that we saw on the driver side. Again, 122 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage with great pass-through storage. And then underneath this location, you'll see a quick port that provides access to this, the 110 volt outlet, which is hot off of the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So if you're dry camping, boondocking, RVing off the grid, you can power household appliances directly off of those four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries without having to run your generator. The pet pal down below allows you to secure pets or bicycles. And then forward of that is three entry steps because this does have the 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels. Also this entry door is cut out of the same fiberglass sidewall that is used in construction compared to competing manufacturers that go out and purchase their doors from third party suppliers. This will provide a tight seal and alleviate wind whip. Down below here, just above the patio side front axle is the curb view assist window. Some will affectionately call this the doggy window, but it provides great locations for tight maneuvering. And then overhead, the entire patio area is wrapped in this powered patio awning with the upgraded acrylic fabric and LED lighting, you can also control the pitch of this awning from inside and it's 19 feet in length. There is a screen for this entry patio door. And again, it's cut out of the same fiberglass sidewall. The coach is equipped with the F53 chassis with a nimble 50 degree wheel cut and powered by the 7.3 liter V8 boasting 468 pounds feet of torque or power. Made it up with a six-speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode and grade braking capabilities. Some great safety enhancements that we'll also cover as we get inside the cockpit of the all-new Winnebago Adventurer 34W. And now as we work our way inside the Adventure 34W, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover each of the main living areas in more detail. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in the organic comfort soft goods collection. It's paired up with weather teak cabinetry manufactured in-house in the hardwoods facility by Winnebago Industries, which allows Winnebago Industries to maximize interior storage using computer aided design and the construction of those cabinets, but also minimizes tolerances in fit and finish, which will minimize squeaks and rattles long-term compared to competing manufacturers that still have to go out and purchase their cabinets from third-party suppliers down the road, many of those being in Elkhart, Indiana. A great, more nimble version of the 35F bath in one half, this being the 34W behind this living area, it provides an oversized master bath, still maintains the wind sleep king bed, but provides even more storage and even more living space compared to the 35F. Great storage in the master bedroom with even more storage compared to the 35F, the washer and dryer and oversized pantry, the all new home theater seating with powered recline, heated seating, massage settings, and USB charge points. Of course, Winnebago's patented benchmark dinette with high low table, the optional overhead powered studio loft, and then up front, each of the cab seats rotate to become integral living components to the adventurer. The driver's side of which includes the Versa driver's seat, which allows you to swivel easily around the steering wheel. Upgraded herringbone styled vinyl flooring front to rear allows you to literally swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. Easy to care for, easy to maintain. 
and now we'll cover each of the main living areas in more detail. We'll start with the full slide on the driver's side. This is the darker ultra fabrics collection. It provides great contrast to the wallboard, to the weather teak cabinetry, whereas the lighter color is lighter in nature and also just kind of blends in. So it's really up to you and your personal preference. A full bank of overhead weather teak cabinetry with decorative slide out trim, LED accent lighting throughout the RV. LED lighting is 70% more energy efficient compared to incandescent or halogen lighting and it's cool to the touch. It also provides then illumination inside each of the cabinets. You can see the LED lighting from the backlit provides great visibility inside each of the cabinets. Dual pane thermal insulated windows with the contour exterior finish, but then also with the mini channel seal to alleviate wind whip. These windows include the canopy jalousy tip-out style windows that can even be used in nominal rain, decorative window balances, but a great upgrade from Winnebago Industries with the MCD American Duo Night and Solar Shade System. These are genuine MCD American shades that revolutionized the industry back in 2010. These are not knockoffs like other manufacturers use, such as slow rise blinds or other knockoffs. You can adjust the speed at which they recess. You can also set a preset set height. So if you'd like one of the roller shades to recess to a certain height all the time, we can accommodate that for you. This is Winnebago's patented benchmark dinette. What makes it a benchmark dinette is the fact that each of the cushions glide up on a piano hinge to access every square inch of storage. The lower back cushions then provide the middle set for the first of four dedicated sleeping surfaces at 42 by 76 inches. The dinette top, or in this case, the high-low table is built into the steel infrastructure of the sidewalls. And as we bring that up now, you'll see all of the storage that can be used underneath the top. But also as this rises up, it provides a great standing desk or also an additional meal prep space. With this being steel, it's built without any legs, so it's easier to enter and easier to exit being a legless table. Integrated cup holders are included then behind. This continues with the Ultra Fabrics Primera Leather Series. It is synthetic leather, so you could be more aggressive in terms of cleaning, but it's also more weather temperate, meaning not so hot during the summer and not so cold during the winter. It includes three safety belts, two forward facing and one rear facing. And the 34W includes seven total safety belts, three in the dinette, two in the home theater setup, and then two in the cab area. The forward facing then also includes a 12 volt and USB power point as well as a 110 volt outlet, conveniently used for recharging smartphones, tablets, using laptops, or any type of an appliance that you may need electricity for. And then again, keep in mind, select outlets are hot off of the RV battery bank using the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with the air conditioning system, the electric fireplace, and the washer and dryer not being tied into that inverter. So a great benchmark dinette with that high-low table right across from this expansive kitchen or galley area. With great contrast with the weathered teak down below and the white cabinets overhead. This inside the ceiling then with a 6 foot 10 inch ceiling height includes a vinyl padded ceiling with the first of dual high efficiency 13.5 ducted air conditioning system units. This includes chill grill technology so that if you were away from the coach and returned and didn't actually have your air conditioning on, you can rapidly cool and divert the fresh air out of the ducted system and directly where you need it. So it just floods that area underneath to quickly cool the coach. In this overhead bank of teak cabinetry, you'll see alabaster glass and backlit access, and then also just wonderful storage above the patio side window that does open with a tip out jalousy or canopy style to be able to be used during nominal rain. The large oversized class A microwave and convection oven allows you to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, yet it frees up a full drawer stack for storage underneath. Be sure to check out in our video library on Litson.com our interactive live presentation 
where we take your questions live each month in which we invited a pair of chefs that were actually in taking delivery of their factory fresh RV here at Litson RV. And they walked us through convection cooking in an RV. There you'll learn about the rule of 25. Inside this kitchen or galley area, full drawer stacks and a hybrid cooktop off to the right, which includes the gas range for RVing off the grid, or if you have a preference for cooking with gas. And then off to the left, a true induction cooktop, which provides some great safety benefits, but also very even dispersed heating. It won't actually heat up until it senses the magnetics in the cookware. It's safe for less knowledgeable occupants and for pets, but also provides great even cooking. Just behind here then, a pop-up outlet includes a 110 volt stack that can be used for kitchen or galley appliances, as well as 12 volt USB power points for tying in a smartphone or a tablet or even a home assistant such as Alexa or a Google Assistant. A drop-in stainless steel dual basin sink Inside the High Luster DuPont Coring countertops includes various multi-attachments, include a drying pan and a sliding tray, and then also a sealed marine cutting board. A single control kitchen faucet includes a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And then again, it has the drying rack, the cutting board, and a sliding basin that runs from east to west. Of course, we haven't forgotten about the waste paper location underneath. Very easy to clean with that stainless steel sink. You can see the high luster with the Corian countertops. Great storage is also included underneath with full drawer stacks, a large pot and pan drawer. Now, as we work our way throughout the kitchen and galley area, we'll also cover the walk-in door area, which does feature an easy to access entry handle and multiplex wiring system so that you can control all of the lights with one touch on and off from inside the step wall or from the master bedroom. A wonderful flip up countertop extension and then is also included. Here you'll see controls for the awning to extend and retract and then the lighting as well as porch lighting and a single one touch opportunity to turn all of your lights off as you leave the coach to ensure no parasitic draws. Down below here then you'll also see a one touch on and off switch for the compartment lights in the basement, controls for the pitch of the awning, and then disconnect switches for both the chassis as well as the house battery bank which allows you to place the coach in storage to ensure no parasitic draw on the four Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. Intentionally located right here within the step well area is your house 12 volt circuit breaker panel and 110 volt breaker panel. Intentionally located here to provide that natural light with the door so that if you do have the opportunity where you have to throw a breaker, you'll still have natural indirect light from that step well area. Great shot there of the upgraded vinyl flooring with the herringbone pattern. Again, very easy to clean. Here you'll see switch controls then for the lounge, galley, and hall. This can also be completely controlled in the app with the Winnebago Connected Coach app. Currently available when you're on the network within the coach with or without internet. As long as you're connected to the network, you can control everything through the app. Coming shortly though is the ability to monitor your coach from anywhere in the world and then also receive over the air updates and potential diagnostic troubleshooting. Here you'll see a full drawer stack as well as a pot and pan drawer. Great storage underneath the sink area here for recycling and for a garbage can. Sliding off to the right then that full drawer stack includes full length extensions with metal drawer glides compared to competing manufacturers that still are trying to save pennies and nickels by using lesser quality such as plastic drawer glides and not providing a full length extension. You can see how easy it is to access every square inch of storage here inside each of the drawer stacks as well as this oversized pot and pan drawer.
LED backlighting then is also continuing along with that backsplash and then off to the right a large stainless steel residential refrigerator with ice maker and water dispenser and also additional storage overhead again using computer aid design maximizing interior storage this max air vent system then provides for high CFM or high velocity air movement especially in conjunction with the side windows being open you can just feel how much breeze is brought out of the coach. It's also then used as the kitchen exhaust fan. Great storage overhead. And then this, the larger residential style, 23 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator and freezer with French doors and then also a pull-out freezer drawer. It provides the exterior water dispenser as well as the ice maker and runs cleanly off of the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, powered by those four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries, which are recharged anytime the coach is in transit, when plugged in, when running your generator or off of the solar package. And as we continue on through the adjustable bins and shelving, we'll wrap up with specifications. The coach is 35 feet, six inches tip to tip. It is a wide body at eight and a half feet. 12 feet, one inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the RV. Again, the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis provides for 2,776 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity from what you would deduct for any occupants, cargo that you may maintain, and if you do travel with fresh water, although most don't travel with a full tank of water to maximize fuel efficiency, so great occupant and cargo carrying capacity, great fresh water capacity at 85 gallons, 48 gallons in the black tank and 57 in the gray. One of the appeals to this floor plan is the oversized pantry located right across from the stainless steel refrigerator and freezer with the residential living area included with this armoire which includes a 50 inch high definition television opposite the entertainment armor then is this new home theater seating setup with powered recline on each of the book ended seating areas heated seating in those locations as well as massage settings USB charging and illuminated cup holders a new option now that we are including on the adventure which this coach has are dual chaudmans so think of a normal ottoman, but this includes the chair back. It provides for two additional seating locations, ottoman lounging, storage, and then also an opposable top that can be used as a game table, workstation, or a cocktail table. Very lightweight in nature and can be stored atop the home theater seating that we'll showcase towards the end of this video as we bring the slides in and showcase how much walkway there is as the slide outs are in in transit. With this home theater setting set up, again, the outboard locations, you can see four or five on this. If you picture seating four, the bookended locations include the powered recline, heated seating and massage. A large expansive window then is included behind, continuing on with the full bank of weathered teak cabinetry, which is backlit with the LED accent lighting, continuing on with the MCD American Duo night and solar shade system and LED lighting. And then for the inboard chair locations, there's also a large drop down storage and also armrest area that includes additional cup holders as well as additional USB 12 volt power points. So just an extremely versatile home theater setup. Those two middle locations can use the Chaudamans as their Ottomans and then the two outboard locations, including this, the powered recline. It also includes heating and massage settings. The great thing about the design innovation with furniture and storage solutions, each of these are manufactured in-house using smart space design approach in Winnebago Stitchcraft soft goods facility. 
knowing that over 70% of the coach is built in-house versus outsourcing, knowing that parts will be available for years to come, being able to engineer precisely what is needed, the ease of making it fit where you want it to fit, allowing Winnebago to distribute weight evenly across the span of the wheelbase, making the motorhome handle better, provides great advantage for a company that's been in business for over 60 years and leading the industry in safety and innovation. The home theater setup then also includes the final two safety belts, so a total of seven inside the coach, two in this location, three in the benchmark dinette, and then two in the cockpit area. Just behind this location then is the oversized pantry, which is split for heavier canned good items. It can be used for additional storage just in the living area, but does include Winnebago branded baskets that pull out to alleviate things jumping around in transit. The same wallboard then is used on the back side of this cabinet location. You can see the low profile ducted furnace settings. But the electric fireplace provides a, just an incredible amount of heating capacity. It includes the handheld remote that includes the thermostat control. You can change the color of the lighting and the speed at which the flames move, but really provides a tremendous amount of heat, especially towards the lower feet area opposite that home theater seating setup. This 50 inch high definition television then provides great storage up top. Off to the left first, we'll cover Winnebago Connected Coach and then all of this storage that you see here. Beautiful contemporary weathered teak cabinetry. This is Winnebago Connected Coach, so think of it as a one place panel in one easy to access location controlling the entire house side to the coach. Here you'll see the true level holding tank monitoring system, fuel levels, LP levels, controls for the gas and electric water heater, a five day forecast, batteries for the house and chassis showing each of the voltage settings, the ability to customize the Cummins own an automatic generator start system, which can be controlled for on or off generator hours in national park locations and resorts and campgrounds. Here you'll see controls for the zones for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. It's also programmable with a way mode to conserve energy. Here you'll see each of the lighting areas are actually shaded when you turn that light on or off where that location is. And then it includes master on and off at this location, the step well, and then also above the king bed wind sleep system. Controls here for your powered patio awning, slide outs, automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. And then finally for this, the powered overhead studio loft bed. These four items right here will not be available in the future when remote monitoring is available from anywhere in the world because nobody is present to be able to see if anything is gonna be impacted. Otherwise, you can monitor the entire coach from anywhere in the world with far reach technology. As we bring down the powered studio loft bed, this provides the third sleeping location, a 50 by 80 inch bed, so just 10 inches shy of a traditional queen bed. Great pound capacity for sleeping up top. You can access it from either of the chairs or the dinette, but it also includes a small ladder which is stored underneath the king bed. Great storage on each side with Winnebago branded slider doors. Underneath this location, then you'll also see the European slap bed suspension, which offers flexible support and increased comfort. It provides for a much cooler mattress because it allows for air circulation. 
compared to competing manufacturers that are still using vinyl-backed mattresses over plywood. It provides great flexible support, increased comfort, circulating airflow below to result in a drier, cooler mattress. Here you can see the Winnebago branded sliding doors provide some nice decor with mapped area, but then also the driver's side shows the Winnebago traversing through the National Park System. Again, that is the powered overhead studio loft bed, which provides a third 50 by 80 inch sleeping surface. One of the advantages is that you do not have to alter or move the driver or passenger chairs. It very simply stops right above there, and then there is a safety belt that keeps it secure in transit. Getting back to the Winnebago Connected Coach, again, the last setting there was the powered studio loft bed sliding over. There is a QR code and also a website that provides all of your owner's manuals. Of course, you'll receive paper copies, but it does include online owner's manuals, but also continuing that ease of ownership with information and parts accessibility being provided access to electrical diagrams and plumbing diagrams in this location. Working back now to the entertainment armoire, a 50 inch high definition television underneath the location in the additional storage location down below. You have an HDMI input, 110 volt jack, as well as a 12 volt USB power point. This allows you to connect your own fire stick or Roku stick if you'd like to bring yours from home or even just purchase another one to be able to stream your favorite content. It works out very well with the WineGuard Air 360 Plus with internet gateway providing that dedicated full-time internet network via Wi-Fi boosting or from connecting cellular connectivity from your existing carrier such as Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile. That's also then what provides the opportunity to remote monitor your coach when that becomes available from Winnebago Industries, which should be shortly. Now we'll cover a lot of the details of the differences between this improvement to the 34W with an oversized bath and one compared to the bath and one half. This oversized bath and one includes a corner garden style shower at 34 by 34 inches, a larger sink area, a larger toilet area, just a nice oversized bath and one located mid coach. It includes this overhead 12 volt powered ventilator fan that did include that sealed marine RV hood that we covered when we were atop the roof of the 34W. Same wallboard continues throughout, same dual pane thermal insulated window with a tip out jalousy or canopy style window that can be left open during nominal rain. Continuing on with the MCD blackout screen system. Another Winnebago advent advantage is that many of the accessories that you need inside the bath are provided in your purchase, such as the linen cabinets and medicine cabinets, robe hooks, tissue holders, and towel bars. This is a residential height style porcelain toilet with a foot pedal flush and a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Just to top that is a modified elongated bowl. You can see the tissue dispenser off to the right. And then a larger countertop area, continuing on with that high luster DuPont Corian countertop. A mirrored medicine cabinet overhead. You can see the rope hook in the mirrored reflection behind. There was an example of one of those serialized labels for that cabinet door. Down below then again a backsplash with a waterfall style sink mounted inside the DuPont Corian countertop. Of course we also haven't forgotten the location for the second waste paper basket underneath. And then finally up top a single control lavatory faucet. A textured glass shower door includes a travel or transit lock and when opens provides a 34 by 34 inch corner garden shower with a step up or seating area. Overhead a beautiful skylight provides indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests. A one piece pan and a one piece surround provides for easier maintenance and easier cleaning and a flexible handheld shower head allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid, dry camping or boondocking. 
But again, a larger bath with a larger corner garden style shower in the 34W compared to that bath in one half 35F. And then also off to the right of the corner garden style shower, you'll also see a large additional floor to ceiling cabinet that's split for anything that you may place in here. Great linen closet storage, additional toiletry supplies, medicine cabinet supplies, just more storage here in this oversized bath in one. Continuing on then with additional towel bars that are integrated into the back side of the master bath door. In addition to the one that you saw on the left hand side of the cabinet wall. Working our way now inside the master bedroom. We'll stop first here and cover the factory installed upgrade of the washer and dryer down below as well as additional storage up top. This features adjustable cabinet shelving all the way from the top to the bottom and then down below a washer and dryer with the Splendid washer and dryer you can actually set it to wash your clothes and then flip over and automatically dry them. This is a direct vented washer and dryer as opposed to other manufacturers that use a combination style that relies on hot water to dry your clothing. This is a direct vented exhaust, so it's very efficient. This can be run off of the shoreline power or when running the Cummins Onan generator. But with it being direct vented, it's much more energy efficient. With more storage than ever inside this master bedroom, We'll also cover the oversized king bed. You'll see controls for the multiplex wiring for accent lighting, hall, kitchen, sofa, and galley lighting. Continuing on with the same six feet, 10 inch ceiling height and the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling with beautiful LED indirect lighting. Just up top there, then you'll see the second of the dual True Air Maximum Comfort High Efficiency Ducted Air Conditioning System units at 13.5 BTU, it still includes that chill grill technology for quick cooling. Beautiful weathered teak slide room trim and the wraps, coins, and medallions surrounding that slide room. A full bank of overhead cabinetry then also includes LED reading lamps overhead as well as the opportunity to turn all of the lights off in the coach with a single touch. This is a 72 by 80 inch king bed that includes the wind sleep system. The wind sleep system includes deep freeze plus serene foam technology to draw excess heat from the body to create a cool, comfortable sleeping environment. Plus superior foam provides exceptional pressure relief and support through support of air technology. It is Certipure US tested with certified foam made of non-toxic materials and no ozone depleters. Microbe shield technology specifically deactivates microorganisms and delivers optimal freshness. And then on each sides of this wind sleep system, you'll see 110 volt outlets, USB charge points to recharge your smartphone or tablet, and then platforms for CPAP or BPAP machines on each side of the walk around king bed. Top-down windows on each side provide great fresh air ventilation. Continuing on with the MCD American Night Roller Shade System with the same decorative window balances, the same wallboard. Not seaming in lesser quality materials in the master bedroom or behind cabinets to save nickels and dimes compared to competing manufacturers. And then again, you can see that platform for a CPAP or BPAP machine. Ties in nicely with the electricity that's included right above there with the duplex and then a 12 volt USB charge point for recharging your smartphone or tablet, which unfortunately is on everyone's headstands right now. Underneath the king bed, you'll see additional storage currently housing the ladder for the powered overhead studio loft bed. This whole platform stays elevated on dual gas struts on each side, so very easy to bring up, very easy to bring down but also stays out of the way when you want to access that storage. At the foot of the king bed, then you'll see full drawer stacks. Great shot there of the floor to ceiling mirror that you see on the pocket door. 
wardrobe closets on each side for hanging clothes and then also full drawer stacks down below for foldable clothing. Inside this current cabinet you'll see many of the accessories that ship with the coach but also the location to store the cocktail or pedestal table that you saw up front between the driver and the passenger seats. So again many of the accessories just temporarily being stored here. Six total drawers underneath, one of which then is including the hamper style area for dirty clothing, but all of which are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. And then above this location, additional storage, but also a 32 inch high definition television that does include its own inputs in this cabinet for an additional satellite receiver. Remember on those two coax that you saw on the driver's side, there were inputs for the front and the rear. You can also equip that with a rooftop satellite. And then bring in one of the satellite receivers into this location. Another location here for including a Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku Stick to stream any of the content that you consume, whether that be Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, or even listening to music through the SiriusXM satellite radio app or Spotify or Pandora apps. Nice vanity area there underneath the television. Another wardrobe closet then is included just off to the side here. Smart space design approach to designing this coach allows for maximum interior storage. As we work our way forward, you can see the crown pitch nature to the roof line. Again, a six foot, 10 inch interior ceiling height with that upgraded vinyl padded ceiling. Before we work into the cockpit area, we'll stop by the entry door here with quick grab and go storage located just above the entry door, which does include a shade for privacy. This is also the location where you can store satellite equipment for the main entertainment system, which features then that IR blaster so that you don't have to leave that cabinet door open. But that's also where the satellite pre-wire is. So we can add any type of the three types of satellite technology using our master RVDA certified technicians. Be sure to check out on our parts page an interactive multimedia satellite antenna finder tool. Here you'll see the gateway then for the internet components to the Weingart Air 360 Plus. Working down then into the driver and passenger area, each of these front seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs. The driver's seat is a Versa driver's seat that swivels easily around without having to alter the steering column. Here you can see the pedestal table or cocktail table, which stores in that cabinet in the master bedroom. Each of these then are the same Ultra Fabrics Primera Leather Series, and each feature dual position armrests, fixed lumbar support, and a multi-adjustable slide recline. Each features the powered upgrades for the six-way power assist. We'll also cover the improvements on the interior to the Ford F53 chassis, which now includes a tilt and telescoping steering column with a new instrumentation cluster. It includes additional safety enhancements with three-point safety belts, electronic stability control, hill start assist, automatic headlamp activation, all new Ford telematics that are available through the Ford Pass app, as well as new and improved suspension package, packaging for superior ride and handling. You'll see the controls underneath the infotainment area for the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. Off to the left there, you saw controls for the powered and heated mirrors as well as the front powered MCD shade system for the windshield area, which can be used in transit as a sun visor. That way, if you're traveling solo or if the passenger is asleep, you don't have to stop to bring down a sun visor. It's powered right from that touch. You saw the new Ford instrumentation cluster. Also controls for that six-speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode and grade braking capabilities. Inside this all-new infotainment package, this features a nine inch touchscreen infotainment radio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with hands-free technology or Hey Siri or Hey Google. You can also then bring in the Bluetooth connectivity to stream any of your favorite content from media stored on your phone, 
even using the Sirius XM satellite radio app, Spotify app, Pandora radio app one, but it also includes Sirius XM satellite radio ready, but then we've included in this particular coach, the upgrade of Sirius XM satellite radio, which includes a free trial and also the antenna mounted into the roof for better reception and not having to use any data. Multiple 12 volt power points and USB charge points throughout, complete heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. And then an innovative switch off to the right that allows you to power that infotainment radio off of the house batteries in lieu of the chassis battery. So you don't have to leave the key on to be able to use that high quality media system and listen to Sirius XM satellite radio or any of the apps that you may have through Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or through Bluetooth connectivity. A lower profile engine cover access, affectionately known as the doghouse, is easy to clean because it's now high clad, easy to clean material. Multiple cup holders and then off to the right for the passenger. A couple of great improvements with the in-dash workstation that glides out, providing the ability to work remote, to use a smartphone, tablet, or even a laptop using that in-dash workstation. It includes great storage underneath but a solid foundation to be able to read, read a magazine or work in transit. But then also off to the right of the passenger is another 110 volt outlet, which is hot off of the inverter. So it can be used in transit to power a laptop or recharge your smartphone or tablet. Yet again, another set of cup holders, one on each side for the passenger, the curb view assist window. The passenger seat swivels with dual armrests, fixed lumbar support, it includes a six-way power assist pedestal. Intentionally located right by your entry door is where you'll find that fire extinguisher so it can be used interior or exterior. And as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot of this floor plan. We'll also sh showcase what it looks like when we bring the slide outs in. So as we bring this in, we'll walk our way from front to rear. With the slide out in, you still have access to your refrigerator, your freezer, and also the oversized bath in one. You can see how easy it is to store those Chaudamans in transit. So then access to the oversized bath in one to the rear. You would still be able to access the king bed even if there was severe weather and you were traveling off the grid and you didn't want to bring your slide out out. You would just lose a couple of inches where the overhead wardrobe cabinet comes over that king bed. But full access to the master bath, full access to the refrigerator and freezer, and full access to the kitchen or galley. You can control the slide outs then from your Winnebago Connected Coach app when you're on network, which is seamless and we showcase that in our educational orientation, which of course we do at no charge, which is a half day class for us to show you what to do, what not to do. We cover maintenance, we cover warranty. It's a half day class provided at no cost to you using our master trained technician. As we bring that slide out back out, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the latest in redesign and restyling of America's best-selling Class A gas coach, the Winnebago Adventurer. But now with this version of the oversized Bath and One King Bed version of the steadfast Bath and One Half Floor Plan that has been built for almost a decade, the Winnebago Adventurer 35F. If you don't need the half bath, but would prefer even more storage indoor and in the exterior basement, but an even larger bath in a more nimble length, the all new Winnebago Adventurer 34W is available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer Winnebago Motorhomes as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consistently since 2015. 
However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain. In accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals, in which they recommend driving moderately for 300 miles and no towing during the first 1,000 miles, varying your speeds to brake in and seat those cylinders in that 7.3 V8, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealer, be the first to break in that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your wind sleep king bed, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh benchmark dinette, available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and will take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.